This is Denver 7 On Demand. Hello, I'm Lionel Bienvenu with the latest from Denver 7. Some good news for the thousands of people evacuated by the 416 fire north of Durango. Authorities announced that some evacuees will be allowed to go home on Wednesday morning. The fire is one of the largest in Colorado history, burning an area larger than the city of Boulder. About a thousand firefighters are on the ground right now. The fire is only 15% contained. Dockless bikes already in several Colorado communities, but surprisingly, not in Boulder yet. Tuesday night, Boulder City Council began laying the groundwork to bring the bikes to town. The city has concerns, though, because of problems in Seattle, D.C., and Denver. They won't put together their final recommendation for at least another couple of weeks, and they may end up giving temporary positions to the dockless bike operators. Evergreen Fire and Rescue helped carry a 120-pound dog to safety after it became dehydrated. That effort earned them the Compassionate Fire Department Award from PETA. PETA says it hopes the actions of the fire crew inspire people everywhere to help animals in need. The dog was taken to the vet, and it's made a full recovery. And from the First Alert Weather Center, here's a look at your forecast. This forecast is the definition of Colorado. Temperatures will be comfortable and warm every day through the weekend, but there's a chance for storms every day, too. Make sure you've got the Denver 7 app so you can stay ahead of any inconvenient weather headed your way. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thanks for joining us. Check back right here later tonight for another update. And, of course, download that Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Lionel Bienvenu.